Hey everybody, it's Brad Stevens coming to you this week's Sun Jammers Fishing Forecast. Inshore fishing continues to be good if you can get away from that red tide. So while we're on the top of the red tide, it is here. There seems to be a bloom here or bloom there popping up. What you want to do is when you find a spot that has active fish in it that are healthy, fish them, enjoy them. That's what they're there for. But please let those fish go because they're going to be our breeding fish for next year that don't get hit by the red tide. So you ask, where do we find these fish that are unaffected by the red tide? Up in West Bay seems to be very good, and also parts of East Bay. You're just going to have to look around for nice, clean water that has bait, and the predator fish are going to want to be there. Um, the speckled trout have been hitting top water early in the morning, late in the afternoons, just like we always say. In the middle part of the day, a mirror dine or something, that little bit deeper water is still catching those bigger speckled trout, and the redfish are on the flats. They're tailing. They're up in that Spartan grass. Just the normal places for fall Panama City fishing. And if you want some specifics, swing by our Highway 79 location at 315 North Highway 79. And the guys will take the time to show you the baits, the lures, the rods, whatever you need. They'll be able to take care of you. And we do have Mississippi Bull Minutes for you guys looking for the flounder. And by the way, you don't have to look very far. They're just inside of the pass at Deepwater Point. Put one of our Bull Minutes on the bottom and hang on and you'll take home dinner. They're nice fat fish too. So for the latest fishing information, always check us out on Instagram and Facebook and head over to our friends at baycountyoutdoors.com and be sure to give them a like on Facebook as well.